Hey everybody and welcome to Sew Something Southern. I'm Tabitha and today is going to be our very first episode on embroidery. So you can put embroidery on pretty much anything. Your shirt, you can do a cute monogram, you can make pillows. We're going to start out very easy and we're going to make a pillow today. And what we're going to need to do that is a 16 inch square, a 16 to 16 by 13 inch pieces and that's going to be for our envelope backing on the back. We're going to need some fusible poly mesh, a tearaway stabilizer, spray adhesive, our scissors, our thread of course, and these um, Frixon pins. If you don't have a Frixon pin, just get one. You'll love it and you'll thank me later. We're going to need a printout of our design, our hoop, our embroidery hoop. We're going to need um, this little template that came with your hoop so we can mark the centers, a little small ruler, and we're going to need our iron. And that's it. So let's get started. Okay, so first thing what we're going to do is we're going to take our 16 inch by 16 inch piece of fabric. And we are going to iron our poly fusible mesh. But first of all, I want to kind of give me a little reference point of what uh, where my center is so I'm just going to fold it in half and kind of press it and then fold it in half again and kind of press it and that's going to let me know where I need to put my um, poly mesh at. Okay so we're going to open that up. We're going to take our piece of fusible poly mesh and if you look at it you'll see one side is shiny and one side is matte. Um, the matte side is the part you want up. So you want the glue side, which is the, si the shiny side, you want that down to your fabric. And you're just going to kind of line it up just so you make sure everything's good and covered. And we're going to press it down. You really want your iron on wide open. You want it as hot as you can get it and you want it on high steam. It just helps the glue melt and stick and and hold. You want it, that's the whole thing. You want it to hold with this poly mesh. You don't have any stretching at all. They're, they're, um, the fabric won't stretch so you won't get no puckers or pleats in your embroidery. This is a necessary step. I put this step on everything I do, whether it be a t-shirt, a pillow, a bag, anything that I embroidery on, I put this poly mesh stabilizer on it. Depending on the density of the stitches, I may have to put two pieces of poly mesh on there just so it can hold the amount of stitches that I'm putting on there. Sometimes when you get embroidery, a design, it has a lot of stitches on it. But they're so beautiful, so you just want to do them. This poly mesh will stop all the puckering and everything. If you kind of pick it up and wiggle it a little bit, you can see where it didn't glue very good. So you, you just want to turn it over and glue it from this side. Move your iron kind of slow across them areas just so you, you want to get it good and stuck. You don't want no pieces of this not stuck to that poly mesh. Just take your time here. It may take a second. It may take you going over it two or three times, but you really want your poly mesh to be stuck really good to pick it up and shake it. I see another little area here I missed. And just hold your iron there for a second. I think that's good. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these pieces away because we don't need them right now. So I'm going to set them aside. Right, so what I've done is I've hooped my tearaway stabilizer and I took my template 
the one that came with our hoop and I lined it up in our crosshairs. Stick it in there. And I marked this one, this one, this one, this one, and our very center. Okay. And then I took my ruler, lined them lines up, drew me a line all the way across in both directions, just like that. Now we can set them aside for a second. I'm going to take our design. Line it up. Okay. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pen, and I'm going to stick a pen right in the center where the cross axis cross. And then I'm going to take this pen, and I'm going to stick it right in the center where them cross ax axes line up. And I'm going to stick it through this line. I need to twist it a little bit. Get it lined up. This one lined up. There we go. This one. And that one. And what I'm doing is I'm sticking my pen through right where this line is, pulling the piece back. And I'm making sure my pen is lined up with that line that I drew. And then we're going to take our spray. Hold this piece back. Spray a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Hold that back. Hold this side. Spray a little bit. And smooth that out. And then we're going to take a pen all the way through all three layers. Three layers being my fabric, my fusible mesh, and my tearaway stabilizer. And I'm going to pin this into the hoop. You can pin it more, you can pin it less. However confident you are in your hooping, I'm going to put one or two more in here. I'm going to put one here. Slide this out. I'm going to put one right here. Just like that. And then flip it over. This is what the back looks like. All right. Let's go to the machine. All right. So here we are at the machine. I'm going to slide our hoop in. Slide it in a little groove, lock it down. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to move our, with these arrow buttons, we're going to move the needle until it is right over them crosshairs. Just like that. Okay. And then we're going to. load our first color of thread and it says we need peacock blue all right now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the pins that are holding our template down set it aside and we're ready to go so we hit this button So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pins out. Pull this through, pull it off of the tearaway stabilizer only and set that aside. 
take your scissors and get in here and cut all these jump strings. You don't have to cut them off. You just need to cut them so you can get most of this tearaway stabilizer off. Just the big chunk. Just be real careful and don't pop any of your stitches. There you go. I'm just a lot of Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to iron this. And the only reason why we're going to do that is I want to heat that glue back up on that fusible, fusible mesh that we ironed onto the other side of it. Just want to heat it up and then we're going to pull it off. Okay. Just like that. And then we're going to trim this off about a quarter of an inch all the way around the design. Be sure and not to cut your uh, fabric, your um, 16 by 16 inch square piece of fabric. There we go. And then just make it all the way around until it looks like that. And this just goes in the trash. And you have the front of your design just like that while you were watching that stitch out what I did was I took our 16 inch by 13 inch pieces and I took them to the iron and I folded over a half inch and pressed folded over another half inch and pressed them and then I took them to the machine the sewing machine and I sewed a half inch seam then what we're going to do is we're going to take our Pretty side up with our 16 inch piece. Line this where the fold, um, the piece that is folded over is up and the pretty side is down. Line that up. Do the same thing with this one. Making sure that both of our folded pieces go towards the center and they overlap. And we'll take Flip these corners and I'm going to clip right here where they where they overlap and I'm when I sew them I'm going to really in, enforce them I'm gonna go back and forth over them three and four times probably on each one of them this one and this one and this one and this one Really want to reinforce that because that's where people are pulling and putting the pillows in and out when they wash. Alrighty. Let's carry this to the machine and we're almost finished. All right, here we are at the machine. What we're going to do is we're going to sew a half inch seam all the way around, reinforcing our corners. Reinforce them where they overlap at. I'm going to go over them two or three times. Make sure everything lays nice and flat.
on the other side. Again, I'm making sure everything's laying flat. One more side. All right, I'll meet you back at the cutting table. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna snip just up to our threads, not even, not really close. We just wanna reduce the bulk out of the corner of our pillow. So they're, they're nice and crisp and sharp. Just like that. And then we're going to turn it through. At this point, you could use a chopstick. You could use um, your finger, your scissors, whatever. You just want to be really careful and make sure you have a nice crisp point come out of that corner. like that. Give it a press. And that's it. There's our pretty pillow with our envelope backing. And I'll put the link to the design down in the description box below. I'll also put a link to the design of the fusible poly mesh stabilizer and the tearaway stabilizer that I'm using. I'll put that in the description. Um, also, while you're down there, why don't you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and uh, enjoy. Have a great day.